So I'm doing my video on Freedom Summer. So although the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee had labored for civil rights in rural Mississippi since 1961, um, the organization found that um, resistance by segregationists in rural areas of Mississippi would not allow for the kind of direct campaigns that had been successful in urban areas such as Montgomery and Birmingham. So the 1964 Freedom Summer Project was designed to draw the nation's attention to the nonviolent oppression experienced by Mississippi Blacks who intended to exercise their constitutional rights and to develop a freedom movement that could be sustained after student activists left Mississippi. So when SNCC activist Robert Moses launched a voter registration drive in Mississippi in 1961, he confronted a system that used segregation laws and fear tactics to disfranchise black citizens. So in 1962, he became the director of the Council of Federal Organizations, which was a coalition of organizations led by SNCC that coordinated the efforts of civil rights groups within the state. Um, capitalizing on the successful use of white student volunteers in Mississippi during a 1963 uh, mock election called the Freedom Vote, Moses proposed that Northern white students volunteers take part in many simultaneous uh, local campaigns in Mississippi during the summer of 1964. So letters to prospective volunteers alerted them to conditions in Mississippi explaining the likelihood of arrest the need for bond money and just funds to get by and the grave requirement that drivers obtain Mississippi licenses for themselves and their cars. So in the summer that the Freedom Summer happened in 1964, less than 7% of Mississippi's African Americans were registered to vote uh, compared to between 50 and 70% in other Southern states. So in many rural counties, African Americans made up much of the popula population and the segregationist white establishment tried to keep them away from the polls and out of elected offices. So then in 1964, a new plan was hatched by Bob Moses, a local secretary of the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, which was for 10 weeks, white students from the North would join activists on the ground for a massive effort which was to force the media and the country to take notice of the violence and injustice taking place in Mississippi. So that summer of 1964, the Council of Federated Organizations began organizing a movement regarding voting rights. So the COFO was a group of Mississippi branches of the four major civil rights organizations, which were the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, Congress of Racial Equality, National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, and the Southern Christian Leadership Conference. 1,000 out-of-state volunteers came together with thousands of Black Mississippians that summer. The Freedom Summer Project resulted in various meetings, protests, schools, housing, libraries, and a collective rise in awareness of voting rights and oppression experienced by African Americans in Mississippi. And during that summer, the Mississippi Freedom Democratic Party was also formed with the hopes of increasing representation at the Democratic National Convention and giving testimony about the mistreatment of African Americans who tried to register to vote. So, however, these actions and efforts to register Black voters were not well received by local officials and residents of the state. So in result, about 1,062 people were arrested, 80 Freedom Summer workers were beaten, 37 churches were bombed or burned, 30 black homes or businesses were bombed or burned, uh, four civil rights workers were killed, and about three Mississippi African Americans were murdered because of their involvement in the movement. So then in July of 1964, um, in, in due to the increase in awareness of the civil rights movement and plus pressure from supporters across the nation. President Lyndon B. Johnson signed the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and that following year, um, the voting rights was passed.